Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I bet you're going right now. It's like, wait a minute. Did I see the right video this morning? Because I could have sworn Mark was at the Red Brick House. And that was just two hours ago. Yeah, it was. Gotcha, didn't I? I am back home. Thank goodness I am actually back home here taking care of some business and stuff and getting ready for the autograph signing show that will happen on saturday we will see michael irvin we'll see jane novacek and charles haley and we'll get some more plaques um out to you guys okay autographed autographed custom made pieces signed and authenticated by emmett smith in fact we have a, a, a our winner from monday night I got back, so Mike can pack that up and things. And wow, going out today. it's going to Canton. Yes, Canton, as in the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So yes, there we go. So Mike, um, I printed it's the I printed out the address for our winner for Monday. I brought the plaque back, and it's over on the credenza there to be shipped out. Um, that looks different. Was it always like that with the stripes in the wood? What, you inlaid? What? Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. So you inlaid the I wood in there. Square it up I didn't oh, my goodness. See? Now, you know what? Mike is getting to, you know, he is extraordinary. Cause this we, is okay not being straight. Cause I, okay, so purpose, he actually took a regular butcher block. Show this to Tracy. And so it just cut that, that groove all the way through it. Man. And so he inlaid some mahogany and some walnut in there. And then the other side is That the is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is it. Is the line is crooked, so it must not have been lined up. No, the, the, the one in the middle is okay. The rest of it, you have to square. But it that up. looks good, man. Man, I'm so proud of my boy. Anyway, like, that's not good. why you're here. Okay, you're here still. Your mind is still blown because I was literally just a couple hours ago at the Red Brick House, and I bet you're wondering, did I use a transporter to get here? No, I drove my ass up the road. Anyway, this is an interesting take on first take. Not Stephen A. Smith, but the shit starter in Kimberly Martin. You know, that, that she's always saying that, you know, if you love Dak, you need to show him some love and things. And she has an interesting take on if this should be Dak Prescott's last year with the Dallas Cowboys. And I want to play that clip for you. I'm not going to show it because it'll get copyrighted, but let's just listen in to what Kimberly had to say this morning. Should this be Dak's last season in Dallas? It absolutely should be his last season. I, if I was representing Dak, I would just screenshot that first take graphic right there. With uh, Patrick With Mahomes? With Patrick Mahomes? Yeah. You see my guy? You now, see? Now, see this guy? is, uh, and I didn't have to, I, there was so much drama going on with the Eagles yesterday that I didn't actually have time to respond to this. Because here's the thing, and people will say, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. But if you take Dak Prescott and Pat Mahomes over the last 50 starts, Dak is 33 and 17. This is the graphic that they had on the screen. Uh, Pat Mahomes has three more wins, 36 and 14. Uh, passing TDs. This is pretty amazing, though, in 50 games. So you're averaging a little over two touchdown passes. And mind you, Dak did at some point have that broken thumb that he was recovering from in that bad season, that one bad season that everybody talked about how bad he was. And he had 23 TDs and 13 interceptions. They both have 105 TDs. Dak Prescott actually averaged slightly more than Pat Mahomes at 7.6 to 7.5 on yards per attempt. So it's not dinking and dunking, dinking and dunking, as Skip Bayless, or Shannon Sharp used to say. Completion percentage, Dak actually has almost a 2% higher completion percentage, right? And interceptions... Dak Prescott has one less. And I remind you, I remind you of the anomaly year with the broken thumb where he had 15 and still has one less than Pat Mahomes in the last 50 games. And QBR, Pat Mahomes does beat him. He has a 70.6, Dak Prescott a 66. So we're in the neighborhood, we're in the neighborhood of um, Pat Mahomes numbers wise okay and um yeah oops hold up hey, did i just lose what i 
The heck? Okay, here we go. It's just updated. Okay. So um, let's go back to it. Thing. One thing, Molly, you know this, yeah. There's nothing better than being on the free agent market where you have a ton of options. Where you can look around <laughs> and say, now who do <laughs> a myriad want of options? <laughs> you know what? This is a vocab show. Yeah. So um, where you have a ton of options and you can decide what's the best fit for me and who do I want to be with, right? Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott right now, we talked about this earlier, Damien, NFL players, when you get in a position to be an unrestricted free agent, that, that is sweet nectar from the gods because mm -hmm. how often do top tier quarterbacks get to be in that position? Rarely, you know why? Because teams take care of top tier quarterbacks. And Molly, yeah. as you can relate to, yeah. you wanna feel special. Yeah. You wanna know that you're loved. You wanna be told, there is nobody else I'm looking at but you. Yep. Only eyes for Dak. Only eyes. Position of power. Interesting. And he has all the leverage. He should not pick up a pen. He should not sign a single thing. <gasps> because he has all the leverage and he's played the game right to be in this position. So no, if the Cowboys <laughs> and the Cowboys fans aren't sure if he's the guy, if family members aren't clear that he can win a chip, you know what? I'm going to get my money from y'all right now, but I'm going to get more money later. So... What did we learn from Kmart, Kimberly Martin? Well, I don't think you want to date her because it sounds like she's going to constantly be looking for the next big thing. OK, and she definitely want to ring on it locked down quickly because you got to make sure you show her the love or she's out of here because she's looking for that sweet nectar out there. Um, but she does make a 100 percent point. For Dak Prescott, you know, we all think that people um, look at it and say, you know, you're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, greatest thing of all time, and so on. And, of course, you'll do anything to be there. That, that's, you know, as a kid, you say, hey, I want to be like Roger Staubach and Troy Aikman and be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys and not understanding all the shit that comes with it. But he's been the quarterback of America's team, and he's on the precipice of the records and so on. But you also have an opportunity to say, you know what? I can make so much money. I can have people that will really show me the love and so on. There shouldn't be a need for me to hurry up and try and get this deal done. I would dare say it would be the Dallas Cowboys that probably – should be the one that's in the hurry to try and get him locked down. And, um, you know, I, I, that's the way I would look at it and say, you know, Tua, because some people are estimating that Tua could be that $60 million quarterback, that he's not looking for uh, a, a discount. You know, if you're Tua and you see what Trevor Lawrence has gotten, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Trevor Lawrence, why do I say – I need to take a step back. I mean, I've been literally knocked the F out and dealing with concussions that I don't know what the ramification is going to be the rest of my life. So I only have a short window. I'm going to get what I can get and keep on getting. Um, so that's the way I would look at this situation. And yeah, that's why Dak is cool. You know, if I'm going to get paid regardless. The only thing I got to worry about is being the best quarterback that I can be because if I take care of my business, believe me, they're going to come running. They're going to come running. And, um, you know, there's somebody going to put a ring on it. Let's put it that way. Kimberly Martin. I, I don't know if she, somebody put a ring on that, that or not, or if, if they are, if you put a ring on, on Kimberly Martin, it sounds like, bro, you better, better be sleeping with one eye open, you know, cause I, I I'm just saying, I'm just saying that it seems, seem like, you know, you, you, you could get fired in a minute. Okay. You can get fired in a minute with Kimberly Martin. All right. Good people. As always, I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to say that we have a lot of great things that we are putting together between my wife, um, as well as dealing with Dan Salio, and even my great son, Michael Anthony, fitness reaction, gig economy, electrician extraordinaire, and now butcher block maker. Um, so proud, so proud. Um, but we are going to make this season, I, I'm, this, I was talking to my wife, okay, because we Cowboys Mafia, right? And I was saying to her, I said, you know, honey, 
are, are we we need to have kind of a theme, a major league theme about the Cowboys. She said, "What do you mean? What do you mean?" I said, "You know, we just got to win the whole effing thing." And she's like, "Listen, is it going to be Cowboys Mafia or is it going to be you know we're going to win the whole effing thing?" Because you can't have a theme. You, can't, you don't want to have too many themes. And I was like, but wait a minute. We are Cowboys Mafia. Me and all my, 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 my compadres in arms here fighting the man. But the theme needs to be, since everybody is here on one-year deals and, you know, for Mike McCarthy and all that, that we need to just go out and win the whole effing thing. So, I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do on that. And, of course, you know, you see some of the great artwork that we have here with the juggernaut. As always, good people, we will continue to keep working and stay tuned because we're going to do shit on this channel that nobody, and I mean nobody else, is going to be able to do. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.